I'm Dr. Reagan Wittick and this is Chris Glassford, RN, and we are going to answer some questions for you today that we get commonly from our patients that come into the office. Hit it, Chris. Well, uh, we're going to be talking about genital anatomy. So the first question is, am I normal down there? And the most common answer that I say to most of the patients is yes, an astounding yes. Almost everybody is normal down there. There are very many variations variations down there, and unless you've had some sort of trauma from childbirth or from horseback riding or, or from a fall, then you're most likely normal down there. Okay. Um, but it's important to ask, and I always have the patient say, I always have the patient, I always ask the patient, show me where you think you're not normal. And I think it's important that you feel comfortable with your doctor and point it out. I think this place is normal, or I feel like this is too big or this is too little. And then I can explain to the patient that, no, that's normal. I mean, that there are very different sizes there and your labia, you can lift your labia and I'll show you and there's different sizes for labia, but in general, everybody is basically normal down there and there's different variations and if you need to get a book out and I'll get a book out for you. Okay, the next question is why does it look different before and after pregnancy? Pregnancy is a phenomenal hormonal state and when which you get hypertrophy of the cells in very, very many areas including the vulvar region and you get distension of the area and so you get swelling down there and the cells that hypertrophy or GRU don't necessarily go back to normal. So the distension or the growth in your labia will stay stretched out per se. And so you, you will look a little bit different after childbirth. Is there anything that you can do to make it better? Love the new look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what type of bumps or lesions are normal and what are not normal? The vulvar region is a sweaty place, it's a hairy place, and we cover it up. So having said that, it's a very um, bumpy place. So it's a, you're going to get acne down there, you're going to get um, boils or folliculitis down there, you're going to get ingrown hairs down there, and all those are normal. Um, what would not be normal would be a herpetic lesion, uh, uh, any type of STD lesion. And in, in able to tell the difference, you'd have to come in and we'd have to look at it. Um, if you have recently shaved or you're a shaver and you feel like it looks like an acne lesion, then it probably is. If it hurts and it looks like a blister-like lesion, then you need to come in to a doctor and have it looked at. Um, you can always get a book or, or Google it and, and, and get a mirror and compare. Don't ever be afraid to look yourself at yourself and look at books and try to compare. But remember that your armpits, are, your armpits and your genital region are similar and that, that they're hairy and you can get, and they're sweaty and you can get bumps there. And so those bumps are normal. Should I shave my pubic hair? a personal question. I mean, it's it's an area that um, you have to keep it clean in which you feel comfortable. Um, you know, we see women in all ages and in all age ranges, and I see, you know, people who are completely shaven and people who have never shaved in their life, and I think it's whatever you feel comfortable with. You have to feel the most comfortable, and I think people who um, don't shave at all need to feel comfortable and be able to keep themselves clean down there both when they stool and when they have discharge and if they feel like they can do that I think that's great and I think people who shave need to make sure that they can shave in a way that they don't get genital lesions and I think that's okay. Do you think waxing is better or do you have an opinion on complete waxing or lasering your pubic hair? I think that's also a personal decision. I think waxing and lasering hurt and are cost are very costly and if you can afford it and have the time to do it I think it's great um, but I think if you can shave and not get a bunch of ingrown hairs it's just as good what is your opinion on douching 
we don't recommend a chemical douche. And if you feel like you're not clean enough there and you want to douche with just water, that is fine. But your vagina has a normal bacterial state in there that produces a pH that keeps your vagina in the state it's supposed to be in. If you douche, you change that pH. If you feel like you have a smell or you have too much discharge, then you need to come in and see if you have an infection and then you feel like you need to be cleaner down there, then you can use a douche with solely water, but we do not like do chemical douches. Okay. Any suggestions on how to smell better down there? Um, I think that if you feel like you smell, and you gotta remember again that this is a sweaty place. Our vaginas sweat. If you work out in workout clothes, you're gonna have your armpits are gonna be sweaty and your genital region is gonna be sweaty because they're sweaty areas. So you can't stop that. I mean, so in order to smell better down there, you can, when you're sitting in your car or sitting in a desk under the table, you can spread your legs a little bit to air that region out. Make sure you're wearing cotton panties. Um, in the summer, when I get in my car, if I have a skirt on, I hike my skirt up to get the region aired out. Um, wear a panty liner, and every time you go to the bathroom, whether it's uh, soaked or not with discharge, clean, throw it away and get a new one on there. That'll help. Keep the area shaven so that you have less uh, wooly stuff down there to, <laughs> to um, cause, uh, you know, to make it more airy down there, I guess is a better way to say. But really, don't cross your legs as much. Get air moving down there as much as you can. And um, know that it's okay to, it's, it's a sweaty area. And try to make, try to make yourself realize that sweat is sweat and a vagina at the end of the day is going to smell like a vagina. Uh, change your panties, change your panty liner and go on with your day.